Hi guys, welcome to a Daisy Design video tutorial. Sorry it's been a while, we've had a busy few months, we've been over in America at Fabaic and we have been teaching in Auckland, we've just been doing so much, we just haven't had time to create a video, so we've decided that today we're going to get back into it. Now today we're going to be doing something that probably isn't quite so relevant to a lot of you over in the sunny side of the world but over here in New Zealand it is winter at the moment and it is cold so we're going to be painting a sort of beautiful icy fairy princess so I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright so I'm going to start by layering down a base of metallic white. I've got a fab metallic sort of silver, I think it's actually glitter silver so it's got a bit of sparkle and glitter in there. Now I'm going to lay this really lightly just over the forehead. I'm going to go in between the design which we've got above the eyes. I'm also going to have a little bit down below each eye. Now if you want you can add another colour coming in from the hairline and just blending it back down into the centre of the face as well but just keep it really light and subtle. The next colour I'm going to use is a new Pixie Paint from Silly Farm. It's a beautiful blue one. I'm not 100% sure of the colour. And I'm going to load up the middle colour. So I'm going to get just a tiny bit of the dark blue and a tiny bit of the light blue and try and pick up as many as I can. Get a really nice load. And I'm going to start over the eyelid. I'm just going to sort of get my shape first and then I'm going to turn my brush so I can fill it out nicely. And I'm going to bring that up and kind of flicking back to the centre of the the face, I like to think of a line that runs right down the centre so all my lines eventually meet up to that same point on the top of the head. I'm going to grab some of the lighter colours this time and I'm going to do a second sort of stripe just above the other side, just below the paint that I've just put above the eyelid. And I'm going to flick that back around, still grabbing some of that light colour. I'm going to create a bit of a teardroppy, sort of almost like a leaf shape that follows the same sort of curves as the previous shape above the eye and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So we're just pushing and going out to a nice fine point and then pulling around. Now using the light colours again I'm going to do a wiggle 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 just bringing my brush on its side backwards and forwards to give a nice wispy line. Now because they're icy we want nice sharp points. So we're just going to wiggle it sideways. Now I'm going to pick up some of the dark colour, just a bit of purple in there as well. And I'm going to create the centre of the design. So by pushing my brush down the direction I want it to go, pulling it out and up, just twisting it slightly as I come back down the other side. Now if you find it easier you could go the same direction, so go both up and meet at the point or go both down. I'm going to add just a little bit of the darker colour just to the inside of here, so just using the very corner of my brush, adding a few little zigzaggy lines. And then I'm going to also outline the top of my almost like butterfly wings. So we're going to follow the top, and, you know, wiggle it down just to give a nice, not a perfect edge, and then give a nice little shadow just at the very end. So just evening that one up a wee bit. And just a little bit of a darker colour in the middle there. Now, with my sponge that I had sponged on the white base, I'm actually going to soften the very edges so it sort of blends into nothing. So, without reloading the paint, I'm going to use that and blend the colours down in between the nose. Let's give it a nice, tidy, finished look. Alright, so the next step we're going to be doing teardrops. Now, I've got a little tiny number two round brush, it's a low alcohol now 7000C and I am bringing all my lines, tiny tiny teardrops coming into the corner of the eyes. Now I'm keeping my teardrops different lengths and also starting at different points except for around the right under the bottom eyelash line I'm going to do a big teardrop and I'm going to get them smaller and smaller and smaller just outlining the bottom of the eye till they come to the middle of the face. Now I'm going to do some more teardrops on the top half of this wing using the same brush. Now I like nice little teardrops. You could use a bigger brush if you wanted to do fewer teardrops. So you'd do it a lot faster. Of course the teardrops would be bigger so you'd need less of them. And I'm keeping all my lines kind of curving and pulling back into the point down in a corner of that eye. So as you can see you've got 
varying sizes. I like to do sort of clusters of three. Even though there's a lot of them, I like to do a big and two smalls on either side of it. Now I come down to the bottom of the eye and start down there so that I can see which gap I have to fill up. Now I've done a teardrop and I've done a seven. So I've pulled up and then back down without lifting my brush up and just filling the gap in with a few spots. Now I've done the same on the other side. I've carried some of the teardrops through and also added just a few to the first lighter leaf shapes. Now I've got a stencil from a tap stencil which I've picked up from Just Paint which are fantastic little stencils and I'm going to use some white, this time I'm going to use a full white, I've got a wolf white, not a metallic white and I'm going to tap with my sponge on the tap stencils and now you've got to make sure the key to getting a nice clean line is not having it too wet, you don't want the paint to dribble or you're going to end up with a really messy snowflake so I'm going to get some smaller snowflakes as well. The stencil is great because it's got a variety of sizes and different ones so they don't all have to be exactly the same. And just finding any spaces that have got open gaps that I can fill. I'm going to add a few just really subtle ones on the white background up there just to sort of fill out that design a bit. And we're going to add a couple just to the cheek. Now I've put a bit of finger marks. I'm going to cover that with a tear, uh, um, snowflake as well and just in the corner as well. So anywhere you think needs a bit of filling out. And there we go. That is one beautiful fairy mask. The last but not least we're going to put on a bit of glitter. I've got some turquoise glitter here from Silly Farm that I'm going to put just in some of the blue gaps. I don't want to go over too many of the details because I'll end up losing them. And I've got to get her to, I've got her to put her head back and shut her eyes so that the glitter doesn't fall straight off. So the paint's often a lot drier by the time I get to it. I like to put my glitter on at the very end and just sort of following around the edge of those teardrops. Now you can do whatever you like with the teardrops and the snowflakes but just keep them all nice and consistently thick and heading in all into that center of the face. I've got the butterfly wings index going to the center of the just the corner, inside corner of the eyes and then all the designs in the middle are going in the middle of the face. I've added some lighter glitter as well and there we go, super sparkly fairy winter ice princess. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.